What's up? I'm down here in Orlando to check out the over 70,000 items that are housed here at the Hard Rock Vault. I'm meeting up with music and memorabilia historian Jeff Nolan. He's going to walk me through a couple items. I hope I get to see like Michael Jackson's glove or Harry Styles retainer or something cool like that. So let's go and check it out. Jeff. Esteban. How's Welcome going, to the Hard man? Rock Vault, man. I got goosebumps. What it's is pretty good. this? This is the wedding dress that Madonna's wearing on the cover of Like a Virgin. Just, oh my goodness. And she's worn it in performance. But what I really get a kick out of it is the belt buckle. Yes. You know, the, a whole generation of mall girls had these in the <laughs> you know, early 80s. I Fabulous think they still piece. make them, actually, it's, in the mall. But now they're like digital and they have like, it's like a blimp <laughs> going around your stomach. But that's the real deal. This is amazing. Get a look at this. This is an Adams High School yearbook from 1975. What? There's Miss Ciccone oh right there. Oh my God. But, but get a load of this, man. They spelled her name wrong. They spelled That's her last crazy. name wrong. Isn't that great? We have so much wardrobe in our collection. This slinky little number. Katy Perry wore this in Europe uh, at, a, uh, at a backstage meet and greet she did. I can't talk about pop culture in the 21st century without talking about Justin Bieber. Oh my God, this is the Biebs jacket? This is the man, the myth. Justin wore this uh, at the Nickelodeon Awards and he was actually slimed in this wow. jacket. And you can see the damage yeah, from, see from, the, from the slime. So if you're gonna be on that show and think you might get slimed, dress accordingly. Get a load of this. Now that looks familiar. Yeah, this is an amazing little piece of design. Jeez. This is a headpiece that Lady Gaga wore during her Monsters Ball tour in 2010. Ah. She actually wore this at uh, her show in Miami on that tour. And that's again, amazing. that's only, the, only Gaga. What Another the? amazing piece from Lady Gaga. This sort of rubber and wire situation. It's a thing that Gaga wore at Elton John's white tie and tiara ball. Only Gaga, man. This is like, <laughs> this, this, it looks like paper clips and rubberish. But fine line between paper clips and fashion, yeah, Esteban, fine line. What is this? That is a iconic piece of 90s R&B history. Sexy, cool. Yeah, the t boz from TLC wore this oh on stage during the Crazy Sexy Cool Tour. This is pretty over the top. Yeah, what in the world? This is, uh, this is an outfit that Santa Gold wore on stage during her okay. 2008 tour. I can definitely see Santa rocking this. Yeah, right, I can see it. And then you got to you got to get a load of this. That right? says Britney. Indeed it does. Indeed it does. Britney. This was uh, Britney. Britney Spears wore this on stage uh, at a show in Hershey, Pennsylvania, and she was nice enough to sign it for us, which is never uh, never a problem. Right. Cute little hat. Love Britney Spears, man. So you got enough guitars here? Or we what? got a few guitars for you. My yeah, goodness. we could uh, we could have a, we could have a lot of folks on a jam session today if you're so inclined. Mm -hmm. There's uh, uh, many thousands of guitars in the Hard Rock collection, and from amazing vintage pieces to crazy custom stuff and everything in between. This is a Rickenbacker lap steel. This is the first commercially available electric guitar. This one's from oh, about wow. 1935. Amazing, uh, amazing piece. What is in this case? This is a Gibson Flying V guitar. This was custom made for Jimi Hendrix in 1969. He uh, played it in the film Rainbow Bridge. Wow. It is a very, very recognizable Hendrix instrument and quite possibly the single greatest guitar in Hard Rock's entire collection. This is amazing. It's one of the few guitars that Jimmy had that's actually left-handed. Right, right. And, and not just a right-handed guitar that he flipped over. This is, this is a dedicated left-handed instrument. There's a version from the Isle of Wight Festival of the song Red House, a, you know, traditional blues that he w was famous for, that he did on this guitar that is one of the greatest examples of electric blues playing ever. Man, my mind is being blown. <laughs> Excellent. Hanging out in this place. I'm Excellent. like speechless. The yearbooks are so much fun. So we pulled out a couple to take a look at. It. This is a Canadian high school, and that is Alanis Morissette. Wow. That is some volume so on that air. This one, I, I just think is tremendous. That's a big yearbook. Yeah, man. right? Yeah. This is from the mid-60s, 1960. Yeah, actually, I think it's from 68, yeah. And that is Tom Petty. Wow. As a high school senior in Gainesville, Florida. 
got to show you my favorite game to play in the warehouse. Okay. This is uh, uh, autograph bingo. Or autograph poker, depending on what mood you're in. <laughs> if you're a betting man. All in here, we have little four by six cards that have just autographs on them. What you do is you reach in at random, I reach in at random, and we see who got what. Okay. Ready? Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. Typically, we'd bet here. Ooh, I got a good one. What'd you get? Uh, I got oh. the Beatles. I only got George Harrison, and you got all four <laughs> of them. <sighs> this drawer has got a treasure trove. Yeah, I think you're going to dig it. Wow. Contracts and letters, things of that nature. But I pulled out a few things that are really special. This is a multi-page missive from Courtney Love. Wow. And some words on this page. She goes off. Up. That's there you go. one of the words yeah. that are yeah. on this. And it's all caps and it's underlined. This is before tweeting. You knew she was mad when she yeah, all that, caps. That, that's, uh, that, that's Courtney's tweet. This is the handwritten lyrics to the Beatles song, Piggies. Wow. It's written on the back of an Abbey Road recording sheet. Oh, this one's great. This is a letter that Scott Weiland sent his manager, Steve Stewart. He sent this from jail. I haven't received any info on the album from you in over one and a half months. So he's complaining about uh, there not being enough promotional effort for their new album. The Foo Fighters are everywhere. It's got to be frustrating not getting your album promoted. And that's you're stuck some true in jail. rock star form, right? You're oh in yeah, jail and you're absolutely. Still concerned about mm -hmm. what's up with the promo. Well, Jeff, thanks so much for the tour, My man. My pleasure, it's been fun Hanging out with you. Thank the folks at Hard Rock International for the exclusive yeah. look at the vault. Wish you were here, but you're not. Later. Let's get some food, man. Yeah, I could. Starving.